Good morning folks, got the magnet man out again, right, I'm hoping for an extra special day today, but don't worry folks, I've not harmed any nature, it's a pigeon egg, there's a load of squabs up here at the top there baby pigeons, or squibs if you want to call them, squibs or squabs, you choose, anyway, I'm out today magnet fishing again, at my uh, preferred location at the moment, I'm going to be meeting up with uh, Breath of Magneteers, Richard Jarvis. We're going to have a plump in here. We've been here before. We know there's something big just over there under that tree. Uh, we're going to get grapples on it, but we've nowhere to winch to. It's miles away. It's near his tree. So I wish us luck, for, look, folks, anyway. We're going to click in here. We're going to see what we can get. Uh, looking cleaner from last time. All the scrap was removed from there. Look at the lovely grass growing again. Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> uh, we'll take any bits of rubbish we see with us as well, folks, because this place is full of it. Um, a lovely, nice stretch to do. Like I say, we've been here before. We're going to click on. So, see you soon, folks. Don't forget, folks, buy us a coffee, won't you? I deserve one. On steamy, Linda. A nice paintbrush. Nice little fishing weight there, folks. In the shape of. And no, it isn't. Right, there you go. Uh, it says on it Walther. Carl Walther. That needs checking out, I think, folks. I don't think it's a real gun because. Where's the clip go? Can't be a real gun. It's got to be a pellet gun because of the end there. So, bang bang, magnet man at it again. Yeehaw, Grandpa. Walther. It's a 177 guys, yeah, it's a hand pellet gun, a Walther. Cool find, bang bang. Right then folks, everyone's moved off for a little bit, so I'll just have a little look at it. It's definitely a pellet gun. Um, I think that's the gas chamber for the uh, chav can that you put in. So there we go, yet again folks, bang bang. Off a magnet man smashing it sideways. Absolutely love it. It's a little 177 by the look of it. Uh, it's got a couple of markings, serial number, etc. etc. But Bradford Magnet Man, get in. Got a nice spinner there, guys. A lovely adjustable spanner. Cool. There we go, today's first knife, folks. It is a... Geezer. Oh, yeah. Well done, Richard. No, no. Hey, chickens, we've got a mystery bag. Let me show you what's going on. It is a brick and nothing. No bones today, folks. Now nah, there's no in that choppers. Let's get it in the bag. See, clean is green, stick it in your bag. And here we go with the second boat of the day. <laughs> here we go, Jupiter. A little bit. Oh, scary man. <laughs> We've been trying for this for ages, guys. I finally got it. Let's hope we can get it in and see what it is. Let's get up. Gee. Ugh. 
Right, whatever it is, it's here, but it is. It's a bike. A dirty one, Mark. Look of it, if it's been down there that long. Yeah! Oh! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Guys, look! Hey, underneath, Richard, that's it. Up we go. OMG! <laughs> we'll have that out! <laughs> Yeehaw! That's it, Richard. I'll come around that side, mate. Ah. <laughs> Pagrero motorbike. Is it a rider? <laughs> it looks like a kid's electric motorbike, doesn't it? Everything's plastic, mate. <laughs> Yeehaw! Ooh. Oh, the back wheel's gone. Oh my God, it's not a rider, folks. Lovely. So we got one of them, folks. And we've got a lovely Diamondback. Diamondback original mountain bike, guys. We've got a mystery bag full of uh, pap. Well, they ain't emptying that out, guys, because it's full of mud. Because they always are, you know they are, so... Sorry, folks. OMG! Guess what? Richard opened one of the voodoo bottles. I told him he'd look, his luck had changed, because that ain't mine, that's Richard Jarvis's! Yeehaw! Well, guys, Richard's found himself a pom-pom artillery shell. Look at that. There we go, guys. Nice little portal there, look. Cool. Let's look through the round window. Right, guys, we found another mystery bottle. We've hid the messages inside. Richard opened one this morning and he found so far a Swiss Army knife. On a boom boom! <laughs> bum bum bums! So it's my go! Let's have a look. Yes, we have. Look, there must be nasty secrets, these bigger jar, bigger, bigger lies. So I'm just gonna I'm not gonna bother opening it at Canal Bank. I'm gonna put it in my bag and I'm gonna take it home with me and then throw it away. And hopefully I'll find some treats. See you soon, folks. I've dropped it, mate. Bit of a double effort coming in here, folks. It's a big one. Where is it? Ah, oh, there I go. No, it's just pulled it a bit further to me right there, Richard. Just at right there, mate. Yeah. It's not, mate, it's too heavy. Oh, you bastard. Can you hear it? It's a big plate, I think. It's not, oh, it's, I know what it is, it's another one of them plates, mate, that you just had off. Yeah. I bet my magnet's covered in caca, that's why I can't pick it.
nearly had it that time, felt it come right up, mate. <laughs> Have some fun. We're about to get all company for the help. Yeah, maybe, mate. Right, if I just drop that in, let that clunk on. There we go. That's on good. Get this in the clean, mate. You getting it? That's it, mate. Oh, awesome. Look at that. Jesus Christ, that's ways a bit. You're going to have to grab that side somewhere, mate. Hang on. Make it a bit lighter there, mate. Right, one, two. Oh. One, two, three, up. Wow. <laughs> Uber. <laughs> Jesus Christ, can you grab that other end, boss? There we go. Look at that, folks. To me, to you. I'm going to drop it, Richard. <laughs> I can feel it slipping, mate. You got it? <sighs> nice bit for him there, eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he has another lad that comes down with him. PB scrap metals, mate. We're doing it again. Love it. There we go. Me and Richard smashing it again. That's two of these we've had out now. Get in there. Still not empty, folks. What's that bridge number again, Rich? Got a nice fishing lure there, guys. Now then, folks, cracking it. So we've got bin liners of rubbish. We've got some rubbish there. And then if you go for it, scrap pile. You can see there's bicycles and Electrolux Hoover. A motorbike for a child. Uh, one, two, three, four bicycles. We have two massive metal plates. We've got wheel bar of it. So we've got everything in here. PB scrap metals will come and collect again for us, like they did last time. Great lads they are. Shame one of them fell in. Not the driver, the driver's mate fell in the canal last time we were here. Um, brilliant. Wish I'd have had it on video, folks. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe and get clicking. That one's massive, folks. It's a bit, looks a bit gone, possibly. I don't know, maybe that's the blade, I don't know. But, that's the case, if I can just see this is slightly, pull it. Nah, it's not coming out folks, but the dagger's in there. So yeah, it's definitely in there folks, I'll have it out there, I, I can see it moving. I just can't get it to come and I don't want nobody to come and have a look while I've got that out, because it's not, not what you should be flashing about, is it, folks, on Canal Bank? But there's no one about, so a quick wash. And there we go, folks. Another... Another treat for Bradford Magnet, man. Get in there, folks. Loving it. See you all soon. We're calling the police, guys. Have you seen that bucket down there? Well, that guy there, oh, don't want you seeing that, that street sign, that guy there, look. <laughs> he, he's the one causing the trouble. Richard Jarvis causing trouble. Boom, diddy, boom, diddy, boom, diddy, boom, diddy, boom, diddy, boom, diddy, boom, boom, boom. We've got police on way and we could be having a bit of a fun with the bomb squad. Great the chickens, we've been causing trouble. Look at all police, one. Two, three, four police officers. All for Richard, pop, pop, pop. So guys, we've been calling the police. They've got Lancashire Rose on the car. 
<laughs> I might just have to spit on that Lancashire Rose. No, I won't really, I'm not that nasty. But yeah, guys, as you know now, we're in Lancashire. So everyone who's been looking for our little spot, trying to find us, that's where we are. Great, folks. So, this secret location, me and Richard have been fishing for donkeys, look. Guess where we are? We're just off M65, we're at Nelson. Richard Jarvis has just pulled out a pom-pom round and it's down there. They're just about to shut all the street down. We've got bomb squad, haven't we? Because we've been playing out. I want the world to know. <laughs> no, no, it's closing road. Right, folks, the closing road, so I think we're going to get shoved down there. Oh, my God, they're not going to be happy around here, folks. That Richard Jarvis causing chaos in Nelson. They've shut the road down, folks. So, sorry, Nelson. We didn't mean to. I think they're gonna ask us to move now. Yeah, they're asking us to move on, guys. Can I get across? Thank you. Oh, they've closed it down properly now, folks. Both sides at road, so we're moving because we're not staying round here. We'll move that way for you, boss, yeah? We're going that way, mate. So sorry, folks. Now then, folks. Bradford Magnet Man, smashing it again. Yeah, I went out with Richard Jarvis today for another collab. Yep, we smashed it sideways. We called the police, who called their friends the bomb squad. The police told us to go away because Richard Jarvis found a World War I pom-pom shell. Highly explosive. Um, I believe that they're, um, they've got an explosive tip on them and that they're able to go through armour plating. Um, quite a dangerous little thing. We had some cracking fun though. Let's see what else we found today. Um, we'll start off with a few smaller bits. So we'll start over here and we have a paintbrush. Now, uh, I just want to show you these guys really quickly now these come out of bottles that we've been finding in the water oh I think I've got it wrong way around now we believe these to be confessions so we've been told by a few people so uh, these confessions, I've opened one ages ago. As I opened it, I seem to be having a lot of luck. I opened another. I found two sh really nasty knives, I opened another. I found other stuff, I found guns, I found everything. Today, Richard Jarvis found one. I told him, open it. See if your luck will change a little bit, mate. About half an hour to an hour later, he found the pom-pom shell. He also found a knife as well. So, there's mine that I opened today again. I'm now going to dispose of the confession and it'll bring me good luck again, I think. We've got a massive bolt here. <laughs> Remains of a cash box. We've got a knife. I'm not sure what that is, about a four, five mil, maybe a six mil socket. Two spinners or two lures again. We've got three spoons. At least, like, they look similar to rosary beads, but they've got like these little things on them. I'll put it against. Yeah. They're like bullets a little bit almost. 
So we got them anyway. I've got that out and that out again. Again, Asian origin. There's quite a few Asian bits in the area. Half a brake caliper, spark plug, a lock. That lock had another note on it. So I opened it today, folks, and I found that. Look at that. There we go. Beautiful dagger found after opening one of the voodoo bottles. <laughs> so anyway, we'll nip back over here because we have somebody's wallet contents, total collectors cards, top store savers. This is dated 1994, so I don't think there's any point in returning it to anyone. It was in a mystery bag that had a purse in it. We opened the purse and it had all this content in it. Like I say, it's 994, there's no point in returning it. It's 26 year old, the going in bin. We found another wallet, some cash, about 30, 40 p, a spanner, an adjustable one. Not sure what that was, but I picked it up anyway because police were moving us on. <laughs> um, an engineering drill bit, hammer. And here we go, folks, gun of the day. It's a Walther. PKK It's also a pellet gun or a BB gun whatever you want to call it It's powered by the good old chav can Pop the chav can in and off it fires So it's as Model P K P P K S caliber 4.5 1.77. It's a BB gun, guys. It's not a real gun. Best thing about that means I get to keep it, don't I? And finally, today, while we were magnet fishing, I found a pair of red or dead glasses. Look at them beauties. Don't forget, guys, like, share, subscribe. Give Richard at Bradford Magnetiers a subscribers to. Uh, yeah, give Richard a subscribe to today, won't you guys? Uh, he deserves it after finding that um, pom pom shell. Uh, the bomb disposal team were on the way to assess and deal with the pom pom shell. Highly explosive, like I said, uber day. Thanks, Richard. Brilliant. Love you all.